what's up guys it's tuesday and you know what that means it's another divi tutorial tuesday my name's roby here with the divi engine team and today we're going to show you how to add some attention grabbing pure css animations to your divi modules we're even going to provide you with some code this is awesome because with a few simple steps you can add some really awesome animations to your divi sites and modules now, please bear with me, guys. I'm making some changes to the recording studio here. So if the sound sounds a little weird, I'm working out the kinks. So you don't need much for this tutorial. All you need is the latest version of Divi, currently 4.9.7. Decent knowledge of Divi, a little bit of knowledge of WordPress, and a child theme installed and configured. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, so to get us started, we're going to head over to the Divi Engine site and you'll see the blog post right here for Tutorial Tuesday. We're going to scroll down a little bit and look at the preview here. We've got three awesome effects. This is just an image, but even if we scroll down a little bit more, we get explanation of, you know, CSS animations and keyframes and how you can do some other cool things with it just to help you customize these effects for yourself and for your brand or whatever you want to do. Now, when we come down here, the first animation is a focus in one. And you see this cool effect where it kind of comes in from the side, blurred to a solid opacity. This is great to grab a user's attention for maybe a creative style type site, um, maybe a production company, something like that. Now, I wouldn't be looping it like this on a production site. I would probably just keep it to one, but I just kept it here in the loop so that you can actually see the effect in case you were scrolling a little bit quickly. And right below that is all the code for that one. Now the next one is a cool text pop-up animation. This looks really good, draws the eye to the, th to the actual uh, topic. Now, again, same thing as the previous one. We don't want to be looping this on a production site. It's going to look a little weird, might be a little bit of overload, and you know, honestly, it might be tacky. But here it works just to show you exactly what we're doing. You kind of see how that shadow pops out with a different color. Now, further down the page, we'll see this attention wobble animation. Now, this is the one I'm going to be doing today and showing you how to add to a Divi button module. Um, you know, this is really good for a subscribe button, uh, buy now button, something like that. This iteration is on a loop intentionally because you kind of want it there to kind of sit out of view and then do a little bit of wobble. So you draw the user's attention to that part of your page. So it's pretty cool. Now, down here, we've got the code for that. And you know you can increase the duration of the wobble down over here with this setting for the seconds there. That's always in seconds. But if you want to know more about keyframes and animations, definitely check out some tutorials that you'll find all over the web. All you got to do is Google CSS animations and you'll find a ton of resources for you. We might even do a little bit of something for you later down the road. But you know, this is just a little intro into finding some awesome effects you can easily add to your Divi site. Scrolling down, we'll find our text instructions. So let's follow these. So the first thing we're gonna do is select the animation we wanna use. So when I come and look here at my Divi site install, I've got a button here already that we're gonna add that wobble to, wobble, wobble, right? So let's go up and select the code here. Let's copy everything, the comments included, because that's a nice reference for you if you were to change something down the road. And press Control C. Then I'll go back to my animations page here, and I'm going to hit Edit. Now, when this comes up, we've got our button module right over here. We're going to need to add a code module to house all this code. So we're going to type in code. And then we need to put that code we just copied between style tags. And like so. And then we'll paste it in there. Now let's just make it look pretty. So this shows us the entire animation and the CSS class, this DE wobble, that we'll be needing to add to the button to create the wobble effect. Now just to kind of explain a few different things here is that this is the animation declaration. We give it a name, DE Wobble. We didn't name it DE Wobble because it's a class name. These two can be two completely different things. Um, and then we're saying that the animation lasts 2.8 seconds and it's going to loop infinitely. When we come down, you see the keyframe section here. Now we see the DE Wobble name. And up here, we're just basically saying that for the animation, we want to use the DE Wobble keyframes. 
So coming down at 0%, 7.5, and so forth, we're illustrating different states of that class. So whatever that class is associated with would have these different key frames. And then what happens is in the background is that those little bits between, let's say, 0% and 7.5 gets filled in by some CSS magic and the animation is actually happening at that point. So that's pretty much it on that and keyframes. Now you can do some pretty complex and amazing things with keyframes, but we're gonna keep it simple to a copy and paste job. We do have a little bit of an explanation on how to do a simple background color animation where it fades in and out of different colors. Definitely check out the full tutorial on the Divi Engine site for that. But with that, we can just say yes over here. Now for our button, and to illustrate this easily, let's go into the visual mode and then edit the settings for the button. Once here, we're gonna to head to the advanced tab and then CSS ID and classes. I will paste that um, class in there. Now you can see it's already wobbling and we are all of five minutes into this tutorial. Isn't that awesome? And it does that on an interval. So let's save that really quick. And then we can go ahead and view the page. And now you see on the front end, beautifully, it's animated, you can still hover it, and click on it, and that's pretty much it. Now you can follow the same process with the other examples that we have here for you. Just one note is that for the wobble and for the focus in animation, it's best if the element is centered on the page. For this pop-up animation, text pop-up animation, you can put it anywhere on the page, it's gonna look fantastic. So that's just a little caveat with these. Now you can go ahead and customize them by changing these coordinates that we're using, the translate Z here, for example. It's gonna say where it is on the page, but you know, I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now. This is for you to learn and figure out some other ways of doing this. Now, if you can't be bothered with learning your own keyframes and stuff like that, don't fear. Here, you can go to CodePen, and if you just search CSS animation, you're gonna find loads of different animations that other gifted developers have already um, come up with. So you can just copy and paste those and put them on the page. Now, there's also awesome CSS animator called, uh, at the URL cssanimate.com, where you can actually go and you can drag your items across the page at different keyframes. And then what will happen is it'll animate it. So here's a wobble animation also. And um, you can just go ahead and copy that if you wanted to add it to your site right down here. So isn't that cool stuff? Now, if you want to preview it, you just hit this play button and there you go. So without a lot of effort, you can easily add some super awesome CSS animations to your Divi modules and your Divi site. Guys, if you like this tutorial, definitely check out our other tutorials on the Divi Engine blog at divienginecom forward slash resources. And definitely follow and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you find this useful. And other than that, definitely leave us a comment and we will be sure to see if there's other topics you'd like us to cover in the future. And if you want us to cover keyframes in more depth, definitely let us know. All right, guys, that's it from me, Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'll catch you guys next week in the next tutorial.